every brother Let's call it in the crossfire Let's call it in the crossfire What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a text logo similar to this one right here. It's uh, actually quite simple. This is the thumbnail for the video, but um, yeah, I will be showing you how to make a text logo similar to this one. So the first thing I've gone ahead and done is uh, make a brand new document. Uh, on this document, I've just got a offset black, and uh, that's pretty much it for now. It's 1920 by 1080. And then uh, first things first, we're going to make a brand new layer and uh, we're just going to go ahead and type uh, what we need for our text. So I'm just going to put like I did there, logo, just for the example of this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and type logo and the font I am using is called Nero, Nero, whatever you guys want to call it. But uh, we'll leave a link to this in the description down below. So it's called Nero and uh, I'm just going to bump up the size for the sake of the video so you guys can see it. And um, make sure your letters are spread out. If you don't know how to do this, go to the characters here and uh, just make the VA uh, round about on 385. That's okay. And uh, just center the text in the middle. Once you've done that, just go ahead and right click on the text and rasterize it. And then just duplicate this layer and uh, you can hide the other one. And now all you want to do is go to your uh, rectangle marquee tool in the top left and just uh, highlight each letter, right click it, go to layer via copy and then just name that letter. So I'm going to name this uh, L and that if we hide this you can see this is the L and then we're going to do each letter so depending on uh, what your name is or the name you're using uh, it may take a longer it may take longer than me so I'm just going to name each one of these and now we're on the O so we're going to right click layer via copy and this is the O right here and once you've done all of that you can then hide the other layer because you don't need that anymore so the first step we're gonna do um, I'm gonna keep the color as this gray so you guys can see it easy we're gonna um, obviously make the second letter fit next to the first if that makes sense so as you guys can see here uh, I've done different parts so this L may be not connected to this but then over here this may be connected so it's completely up to you but I'm just gonna go ahead see see what works best like I said sometimes it works best if they're connected sometimes it works best if they're not connected so just go ahead and mess around with it see what works best for you I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this and first thing I'm gonna do like I did here as you can see there's little gaps in between them and to do this just zoom in go to your pen tool on the left hand side and uh, just pen tool out this hold down shift so you get the right size and just pen tool it out like I'm doing here and make sure that's the L right click make selection hit enter and then just press delete on your keyboard and as you can see there's a little gap in between this if I uh, use my arrow keys I can make the gap a little bit bigger and then we're gonna go over to the G right here and uh, a couple things you can do with the G like I did on this I cut the O so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go to the rectangle marquee, uh, marquee tool go to this O so make sure it's the right O and just cut that right there and as you can see uh, I didn't cut it precisely enough and that's what it will look like there and I'm just gonna drag this G over here as well and uh, we can sort of either combine them or we can have a little gap in between them it's completely up to you I'm gonna do uh, let's see what works best I think the gap looks the best right here and all I'm gonna do right now is get the L and the O and uh, I don't normally do this often but I'm gonna stretch them down and uh, just so they get to the right size as the G over here and uh, yeah that looks a whole lot better Let me just stretch this up a little bit and as you can see this is what it looks like so far quite good um, as you can see there's no distortion when we stretch it because it is a text layer and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do just to get the right size so you need uh, a rectangle at the same size as the G or the L for instance all you would have to do is go to the text tool on the left hand side and just type an L or an I I'm just gonna go for an I because it works best with this and as you can see it's the same exact size as the L so right click flip 90 degrees and we can just drag this over here just so it's the right size and we're gonna make it quite wide and we're just gonna get the final O and drag it over here make sure we have a gap there 
and I think that looks quite good let's just make a bit of a smaller gap between them uh, yeah I like the look of that so far I think that looks good for now we're just gonna leave it like this but once you have finished it you can see there's a couple of adjustments we can do at the end so I'm gonna go rasterize this and to merge them all just go ahead hold down shift on the top one hold down shift on the bottom one and uh, just group them first of all and then duplicate the group so you have a backup of each layer and then press ctrl E on the group so that's just one single layer and you can uh, that's just like one single layer for the logo and if you wanted to save it like this just hide the background go to file and save for web and you can save it like that but there are a couple things that I'm going to go ahead and do just to make it look a bit more appealing so the first thing I'm going to do to this is um, add sort of some lines on the side as you can see right here that has got a layer style on so you can't see it as well but uh, to do this all you have to do is go to the pen tool and um, I'm going to select different parts where I can put the line so I'm going to do one here as you can see um, let's just do this like that and uh, the way you do it is quite simple just hold down shift to get a straight line hold down shift again so it, it's quite precise you've got to get quite precise with it as you can see and uh, just put this up here and then put this over there like that right click go to fill path make sure you obviously have a new layer selected and as you can see it will make a new path like that but it's currently white so we're going to color it, overlay it to the same exact color and uh, as you can see we've got that for that one and uh, we can't duplicate it as such so we're just going to go ahead and do one for this side as well uh, as you can see right here just so we can get the right size in we'll do one for this side and uh, yeah that looks quite good so far I reckon uh, let me just go ahead and do this right click fill path once again and as you can see you get that sort of line effect you see that in a lot of designs at the moment and I think it does work really well with this type of logo you can go ahead and add a stroke but I think this line effect looks much better and uh, depending on where you would like it you can put it in different parts of the logo but um, I'm just gonna leave it as that and like I said maybe add some extra line effects over here maybe make the L a little bit longer it's completely up to you but I like the way it's looking right now and uh, all we're gonna do now is right click uh, I mean hold shift down on the top layer hold shift on the bottom and press ctrl E to merge that so it's one single layer you can go ahead hide the background and save that so this is what it will look like with a sort of nice red if you want to copy down this red uh, here is the uh, sort of hex code for it. It's AB2222 and that will get you this sort of red. I really like this red on logos. But yeah guys, that's the text logo. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's been short, but it was really, really simple as to how to make this. But if you do have any troubles making it, of course, please leave them in the comments down below and I will help you out as soon as possible. But anyways guys, like I said before, hope you have enjoyed the video. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace. No, no, no.